input output model is an important macroeconomic concept in economics. It is a mathematical technique that represents the interdependence between the different sectors of an economy or between regional economies. The basic idea of the input output model is that the output of one factory or industry may be used as an input in some other factory or industry and a part of the output goes to the households for final consumption. The modern input output analysis was developed by the Russian economist Vasily Leontief. Leontief received the Nobel Prize for his contribution to the input output analysis in 1973. Leontief was the first to represent the national economy in matrix form. The input output model is primarily used in national income accounting because it provides a breakdown of the money flows among the different sectors of an economy. Let us understand the terms input and output as they are used in mathematics and economics. In mathematics, input and output are terms used in a function. A function is a relation that expresses the dependence of one variable on one or more other variables. The variable whose value is determined from the model is termed as the dependent variable and the determining variable or variables are termed as the independent variables. The dependent and the independent variables are related to each other through a rule expressed by the function. In other words, the dependent variable may be termed as the output and the independent variable or variables may be termed as the input or inputs. For example, in this function y is equal to a plus b x, y is the dependent variable and is the output and x is the independent variable and is the input of the given function. The rule expressed through the function is that there is a positive relationship between the output and the input. In economics, inputs and outputs are terms used in the process of production. Inputs are the factors that are used for production or that are purchased by an industry to produce goods and commodities. Output is the product that has been processed and may be used for two major purposes. Number one, the output of one industry may be used as the input for other industries and number two the output may be sold to consumers and goes to the households for final consumption. For example a pencil is a final product. Most pencils are made of cedar wood and pencil lead is made from graphite and clay. Wood graphite and clay are the raw materials. Pencil is produced in the pencil factory and this product may be used in the factory to do paperwork. It may be used by other industries or it may go to the households for final consumption. In the economy at large, there are a large number of products being produced every day and the output of one industry may be used as input for some other industry or it may be used for final consumption. The flow of output between industries during the process of production may be represented in a table known as the input output table. The element in the first row and the first column gives the amount of output of industry 1 used as input in industry 1. 
the element in the first row and second column gives the amount of output on industry 1 that goes as input to industry 2 and the element in the first row and third column gives the amount of output that goes as input to industry 3. The elements in the other blocks of the table gives the amount of output of industry 2 and 3 that goes to industry 1, 2 and 3. In order to study and understand the input output model, it is necessary to follow certain assumptions. Number 1. Each industry produces only one homogeneous product. Jointly produced commodities are not allowed. Number 2. Each industry follows a fixed input ratio and there is no substitutability between factors. The production function is therefore known as Leontief production function or fixed proportions production function. Number 3. Constant returns to scale prevail in the economy. That is, if the inputs are changed by a certain proportion, the output is also changed by the same proportion.